You ever wonder why bugs are attracted to light? Why they gather around your porch light and fly all on you and shit? Why bugs are attracted to light? What it is, it's a behavior called transverse orientation. Now, some bugs, they navigate by flying at a constant angle towards a distant light source like the moon. Now, man-made lights like this porch light right here that we um, got, we're actually at on my front porch and stuff. What that does is it confuses the bugs by changing the light source. And the insect's response to light with motion is known as phototaxis. Now, there's two different kinds of bugs. And you know, some bugs, like cockroaches, are known for negatively phototactic organisms. They move away from the light when you come into a house and there's cockroaches in there, they scatter. Well, it's not because they're scared of you. It's because they're moving away from the light source because they like it in the dark. But, um, so they actually move away from the light. So, if you look back in history, back in time before man made artificial light, there were nocturnal instincts, like in the insect population, like most moths, they evolved to use natural light sources like the moon and the stars to navigate. And since the moon is so far away, the angle of the light stays the same as the insect flies along. But this isn't the same with a smaller light source like this porch light right here. And, you know, or a candle or a flame or a light bulb. And the reason is, is because the angle to the artificial light changes as the insect flies by. So in an attempt to stay aligned, they end up flying around in circles confused. Actually, one of their wings will fly and move around a little faster than the other one. And instead of them staying at an angle with the light source, they actually end up flying in a circle. Because now, the reason that they use lights to navigate is because when they see an unobstructed light source like the moon, it tells the bug that the path that they're flying in is clear. So they fly towards it to avoid flying into obstacles. Now, also, there's another theory is that female pheromones from like female moths put off a, 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 like a UV light source. So, yeah, look at this real cool motherfucker right here. What the hell is that thing? Looks like a green stink bug. Yeah, it look like a damn green stink bug or some shit. Well, anyway, they be, a lot of times, you know, like it might be like a candle lit and the bug's flying along, and he, sm he sees like a, a light, or he might mistake it for a female pheromone. So when he swoops in to get him some, woof, he gets burned. He gets burned in the wrong kind of way. Not in the same kind of way that we get burned, <laughs> you know, when we go out and mess with a dirty girl or not, and they actually get burned. Like, woof, the ass goes up in flames and shit, right? So, and another, another theory is that flowers also put off a slight UV light so some, you know, them bugs might mistake a UV light for a, um, a food source. And um, that's pretty much why bugs go to lights. Because they, they mistake it. You know, they use a, a light like the moon or the stars and stuff to navigate. And they might mistake it as a food source or actually like a female or something like that. Look at this big cool polka dotted bastard right here on the side here. Now that's really cool. That's a cool looking ass moth, ain't it? Take that bitch out. Yeah, that's a pretty big one. As you can look like in, a, in proportion to my finger and shit. Pretty long and shit. Let's see if we can fucking stir his ass up a little bit. Take that shit out. See him right there walking along there? Yeah, you know, if you look out here, there's all different kinds, all varieties of bugs and stuff. Usually there's a whole lot more of them out here. Well, what the hell is that thing? Take that one out. Wow. See, there's anything different over here. Not really. I saw one out here earlier that looked like a damn leaf and it was curled up on the door. So even when daytime comes around, some of them that are left over from being around the light at night, I actually hang out all day long and just be kind of like chilling on the door. 
like this button right here. See this one? I made another video earlier today in the bright light of the three white moths, right? And two of them flew away, and this one right here just kind of stayed. Look. And it won't fly away. It's just kind of been chilling there since yesterday for a whole day now. Look at this big ugly bastard. I don't know if you can see that shit or not, but that's not even a moth. It's just a big, ugly, gnarly looking fucker, whatever the hell that is. God damn. Big giant antennas and shit. I don't know what kind of bug it is. It's kind of blending in, any? Yeah. See big giant antennas on his ass. I don't know what he's looking for. And if you look up here, I mean, just everywhere you look, there's different little ones. They're up on the, this one up on the gutter. Yeah, one way up there. Hey, check this one out. Zoom up on that one, man. Look at the colors on that. How cool is that shit? Here we're gonna like focus on some bugs and stuff. See, that's, that's, a, that's a cool one right there with all different kinds of colors. It looks like the, like um, maybe a ladybug right there. Uh, um, another one. I don't know what the hell kind of bug that is. That's some kind of moth. Little small ones flying around. I'm just thankful that there's no mosquitoes out here beating, biting my ass up. Look at this cool, crazy bastard. Wow. That's some kind of different kind of moth. And this one, which is probably one of the cooler ones out here. Get the fuck off me, you nasty bastard. This just flew on me, man. Looks like a white polka dotted moth. Look, there's one right there tucked around the corner and shit. Look, I pet that motherfucker on his head like a little dog and shit. Look at that shit. What's up, motherfucker? Look at this one. He's hiding up in the crack. Ah, damn, that bitch don't talk on me, man. Anyway, like, like we were saying earlier, they kind of use like, they use the light source to navigate and this kind of confuses them. So it's a whole bunch of horny, confused bugs out here. So now you know why bugs are attracted to light. Yeah, check that shit out. All kinds of little varieties and shit. Check this one out. Mostly all different moths and stuff. Every once in a while, you might see some odd, weird son of a bitch like that thing. Look at that. What the hell is that thing? They don't even belong in there. You see shit flying by. I get up in here so you can see them flying in circles. When I talk about how they get confused and start flying in circles, look at that one. Look, he found this girl. He's sitting there humping the little light fixture thing, the base of the light thing. Yeah. He's doing the buggy style. Check that shit out. See him getting it down, boy? Get it, boy. A little bit hard, ain't it? <laughs> anyway, another little crazy looking little triangular looking fucker right there. I don't know what the hell that is. It's a weird looking one. Keep crawling out there. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh, God. See that bitch dive on me, man? Yeah. There's another one down here. Hell, some little shit crawling on my arm, man. God damn. And if you look up real close, real close, there's a bunch of little small ones. Look at that one. That's a crazy looking little green one. Feel like kind of running around and shit. And actually look on the light thing itself. See them crawling on there? They're all confused.
So now you know why moths and bugs are attracted to light. It's because they're trying to navigate and the angle is messed up and they're all confused and they're horny and they're hungry. And look at them there. Actually, this is all over the siding. So that's why bugs are attracted to light. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and you will stay tuned to some more of our informative, interesting videos.